Ready and set. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thera Expressions Meditation, uh, where mental health matters. I am an ambassador for the mental health uh, people within that community. Uh, my name is Jemima, and this is my co-host, Darcy Mata. And we here normalize the conversation around mental health topics. Each week, we talk about something different relatively. And um, it's just an opportunity for us to be open and honest and authentic with uh, mental health issues. We both have experience, both personal and beyond. So uh, we are coming from a place, though, guys, as friends. So we're not coming from a professional view. Um, so there is a disclaimer down below, just in case. Sorry about that. And there was, more importantly, though, there is a 1-800 number for anyone who you know or yourself who needs assistance. It's a suicide prevention number. Please make sure you call it if you need anyone. There's always someone to talk to. You are never alone. That's why Darcy and I are here to hopefully bring that awareness to people. You know, you're not alone. And so many things that we feel, uh, a lot of people feel, <laughs> like this crazy thing in your head, a lot more people think that, feel it, and um, then you re realize. So anyway, Darcy, hello, beautiful Darcy. Good morning, beautiful Jemima. Good morning. I'm, I am going to leave you alone for one second. I'm going to close okay. the window because I live in the suburbs and the, and Saturday morning suburbs means let's go. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Well, as, as we said, 100% authentic. But today, Darcy and I thought we, uh, we covered the topic of self-forgiveness about two weeks ago, I believe. And it was in regards to body image and food. Now, self-forgiveness can go to such a so many different levels. Uh, so we wanted to come back and occasionally talk about another top, uh, another element within that topic. And this week I'm having, once again, this is about sort of my mental health because I do suffer from severe depression and I'm going through more perimenopausal right now, which is adding to it. I'm an ex, I, I'm an ex ad drug addict, I should say. So there's a lot, and that's only like two and a half years now. So I'm still healing from that. So I have a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> I'm pretty much a mess, but that's okay. <laughs> it's just a tiny bit, but I've recovered a lot guys. And I'm, but I'm still dealing currently with a lot of stuff that comes up and I'm not quite sure how to. Darcy is a wonderful person to sort of offload onto and give me some feedback. And we both sort of have a good insight into um, mental health. So this yeah, week, you know, I mean, having, being an, uh, a hypnotherapist, yes, that's what yes. I'm right. so I get people. Um, I get people, clients to see me who are going through big changes. And so our mental health, you know, when we call, talk about mental health awareness or, you know, mental health in general, it's how do we find ways to um, promote our mental health? We promote our body health all the time. Mm -hmm. The vitamins mm. and exercise and diets, etc. But we don't really have a great um, approach to mental health as in terms of making it a regular thing that everybody needs to do. Very good point. Very right? good point. And we 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 can. Yeah. We're beginning to as a society. We're beginning to. And so Jemima, you and I are really here to say, yes, if you're working out physically and you're taking care of your body, then you need to find that time to take care of your mind and your spirit. And your spirit, yeah. And, yeah. A, and, and body, mind, and spirit. So to take care of the spirit and ignore the body doesn't work. To take care of the body and ignore the mind doesn't work. Yeah, so yes. in this moment, you and I are um, talking about how to take care of the mind and yeah. the spirit. Right. And, and um, I'm yeah, to yeah, we're just we're, we're creating tools for you to maybe walk away with us included. <laughs> we bounce things off and I walk away with something new every week. So or in, it is is reintroduced or um, reinforced. Um, so there's a bucket of t mental health tools like going to the gym, like finding an exercise, like meditating as a spiritual tool. Um, yeah. So we have these we have these conversations to hopefully bring awareness to, to help you if you are struggling too, you know, or not necessarily struggling, just having a bit of a day, you know, <sighs> everyone has a day. It's okay not to be okay some days. That's what we've got to remember. It's okay not to be okay some That's days. That's right. That's a big thing. I'm just looking at a book I was looking for. I should have brought it. Um, you've been struggling, Jemima, with um, being perimenopausal. Mm -hmm. right? and, so, and then we throw that into the mix. So, you know, you bring in life changes. So mm -hmm. you've made huge life changes. You've really done amazing work in bringing yourself back from uh, you know death and drug abuse 
And now look at how healthy you are. And, you know, you're standing before me alive and healthy and it just, and you look beautiful and it's just amazing. You're amazing. Oh, bless you, Darcy. It's so Okay, you finish now, bye-bye. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <Okay. Okay. Okay. laughs> it's it's true and so you know just that in itself if that was all you were dealing with i would could just leave it there but then you've you know started a new relationship you've moved to a new place right there those are big huge huge events and then the perimenopausal thing inside of it so you know when we think about mental health awareness it's always multi-layered, you know, there's never just one cause of our mental stress, right? I was just talking to Jemima about my work life. I have one job that I do Mondays through Thursdays, and then I do my hypnotherapy practice Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but I also have my home life. So, you know, I have to make time for myself and that is tricky. That is so tricky to make that time for our ourselves but um so our topic today was forgiveness yeah self-forgiveness when you know you've been this is an emotional topic we're talking about rather than as we topic that we covered the physical and the body body image um so yeah i, I said to darcy let's talk about when you you've been an ass and you know you've been an ass you kind of owned it but you still hate yourself for it that self-loathing and it's very very hard for me to step out of the self-loathing which continues to then create uh, give an energy off of me being an ass because i'm sitting i'm sit self-wallowing I, I know i can see it all i can plot plot out the behavior and i'm sitting in self-wallow and self just 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 uh just uh, just, just all the d words <laughs> disturbance disfiguration dis whatever you know i um, just disgust all that sort of thing and i, it's, I can't find a way to find self-forgiveness when it's a vicious circle and I, I've got everything around me right now is beautiful I've got a beautiful man I've got two new kitties in my life I've got this amazing property I've got so much potential ahead of us for fantastic opportunities and here I am in a bucket of perimenopausal hoo-ha that's creating a psychotic bitch sorry YouTube but you know what I mean sorry for swearing I should say <laughs> um and it's very very disturbing and i'm stuck in a loop and especially with perimenopause it's new to me so i mm -hmm. don't know what is what what to do i don't know what what way to go I'm, and i'm taking my vitamins my beautiful per, perimenopause vitamins and all the things i can do to help myself i'm afraid to not take them now <laughs> i'll tell you what totally so <laughs> thank god in a way i guess i am I'm, i have to say but what say you darcy i always say what say you and hand over this big bucket of hoo-ha to you but what do you say i just i feel stuck and i just do not like myself right now I appreciate it. I understand. I went through menopause and I got really lucky. My my menopause was really easy. I meditated my way through my menopause, you know, and I was also making big changes. Plus, I, I had a child late in life, and I think that that really helped my hormones. Mm -hmm. okay. a child late in life, probably. Um, and also, and this is a big thing is to, you know, to fixate on something other than myself. You know, I never had the time to just fixate on myself. I've never had that time. And I think I have to make the time. And if I'm wallowing in my, um, you know, my emotional muck, then meditating my way through it and setting small goals for myself is really important. But mm -hmm. I was going to say for your perimenopause, I would look up on the web pressure points massage therapy points for menopause okay okay you know that i know it used to really help me for my cycle my menstrual cycle the there's pressure points in the ankles just above the heels below and like around the achilles tendon in different parts of the lower leg so you know finding those massage points um i know i have a good book about it i just put it aside it's probably still packed because i don't use it anymore yeah so i'll have to look for it and i'll i'll tell you next week what it is but doing massage points for yourself can help alleviate some of that 
making sure also that you have a schedule, Jemima. You got to get on a schedule. So I know you're very devoted to your Pilates class in the morning that you teach, and that's primo. So do that. And then make sure you have scheduled in your meditation time and your creative time so that it's always hit. So you do I do that meditation from six of six fifteen through through actually Thera Express, Thera Expressions meditation. Plug you guys again. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, six fifteen. By the way, if you want to join, go to Thera Expressions meditation, and it's six fifteen every morning, Monday to Thursday, um, for forty five minutes, and that's fantastic. And I didn't do it for after Butterball passed last week. I didn't do it on Monday, and Tuesday I felt like out of it but um yeah i did miss it so much because of that i realized by wednesday i was going god i've really got to keep doing this because it did make a difference it got me when i woke up i was in the mood and then i'd be able to just go and have those 45 minutes to just really get in and then pilates you know but that is still i don't know yeah and then also you have to schedule in your creative time in the afternoon like uh, in the heat of the day when you can't go outside and you're inside schedule that could be a quick meditation and a creative time you could do okay. that for yourself i was also going to suggest this might be fun to do because you have this new property out there why don't you create a, a labyrinth a labyrinth yeah, I've got, circle? I've got that on my list yep we've got a space out there already built for it already yeah. and when Move. you because you talk about getting in a loop yeah so physically walk yourself out of the loop so if okay. I, and 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 do a real physical um, walk with it, where you do a meditation walk, where you're walking and with each footstep, I bless each step. I bless each step. I bless each step. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I am love. I am etc. And so you do your meditation walk mm -hmm. with your labyrinth circle. Um, and if you don't have your labyrinth circle yet, uh, you can do a meditation walk. Mm -hmm. and, and the great thing about a meditation walk is it's physical and obviously it's mental and spiritual all at the same time. It's going together. I bless each step. When I was living in New York City, I would get crazy sometimes, you know, because the energy there is so intense mm -hmm. and I would wake up just so negative. But I could do that meditation walk when I would walk to work from my apartment uh, and you know just in my head and by the time I got to work I was much clearer um, and okay. I just, my body felt better so it, mm. that meditation walk is a really important one to do do you know if like I, I've stopped coffee and sugar and things generally sugar sometimes sometimes you can't deny everything but I've definitely cut coffee out and I'm a tea bug but uh, do you know of any food? So I know that even the adrenal glands, I was reading, like, die sort of thing when we go through perimenopause. And so there is no sex drive. There is no, there's no oomph. And it's like, is that to do with food? Or is that, to, how do we, how do we touch the adrenal gland? How do we, how do we heal the adrenal gland? Is that just through food, through nutrition? Or can you, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Do you well, know? you can also... I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. Again, you can find pressure points. Mm -hmm. You know, you go on, go online, get your pressure points that hit your adrenal glands. Um, and food, definitely. And there's herbs you can take. I think it's wild Mexican yam and black cohosh root, wood betony. can't remember them all. Um, so there are herbs and um, tinctures you can take that really help um, the body catch up to itself as it changes mm -hmm. um, make sure that you are having foods that um, support the liver mm -hmm. the liver is a big part of this change okay. so um, the liver energy so and it's summertime so we're talking about you know dark leafy greens right that kind of business is what you should be eating okay. right now um, watermelon um, you can even clean and cook the watermelon rind, which is a, a nice. Oh, okay. Kind of oh, really? Thing. Yeah. Once you cut off the the pink of the watermelon, you've got the watermelon rind. Shave it very lightly. You can slightly cook it. A little salt on it. Ooh. It has a real. Ooh. It's a. It's Ooh. very water fiber. It's nice. So. Awesome. Um, yeah, you can start looking 
for foods that benefit the liver. We're in liver season right now. Mm -hmm. okay. So um, that will really help a lot. And then <clears throat> one of the things I did or I do for myself when I really get into a negative place with mm -hmm. myself is I will say, I'll stop, I'll either go outside or I'll find a really beautiful spot and I'll tell myself clear, 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 I forgive myself. Or you can be digging in the dirt and cleaning your property, cleaning your house, going to the store and in your mind you say clear, mm -hmm. clear, clear, I forgive myself. Okay. Say it three times, you know, just clear it out. Just like you're cleaning your house, clear. Yeah. Clear, clear. I feel like it needs something like that because you know that that's a vicious circle. It needs to be that the loop needs to be cut, you know. And I feel like because I, then I see I look at Chris and I I see the damage I've done or the hurt that I've indirectly caused. You know, it's not that dramatic. Don't worry, I'm not being abusive, guys. I'm just it's not healthy to sit like this. And then I then I get sad and then I go into and it comes out again. Then it's like uh, humpy and doesn't want to talk and. Then it's like, of course, the other person's going to be affected by that. And it's like, it's just this vicious circle that needs to be cleared, cleared, clear, yeah. clear, clear. I forgive myself. And also you can put little cards in different places to remind yourself of things you want to say. Like, I am allowed to be proud of myself for little achievements. Oops, you're frozen. You got Jemima. Am I? Oh, uh, I can hear your voice, but your screen is frozen. So, Am I back oh, now? Yeah, you're back. You're back. Yeah. <laughs> so, Sorry. Um, yeah, I, I heard you the whole time. I heard you. Yeah. So you're allowed to be proud of yourself for little achievements. Not everything has, you know, if you've had a little moment of um, the biatch showing its ugly face, right? And you then you get mad at yourself. You can say clear, clear, clear. I forgive myself. And and you can take a deep breath with it and let it go and say, hey, that's a little achievement. I did that. Can I ask us being, being a little older than I am, does it ever get any easier? Yeah, everything takes it practice. Does? It all okay. does that's good. Take practice. Yeah. It takes practice, that's all it does. It takes practice. Um, Cause it's years of, it's years of this, you know, and. And we find all sorts of fun, new ways to do it and new reasons to do it, you know? Like, uh, oh, maybe things aren't going as fast as we want them to, or they're not going in the direction we want them to be going, or we thought things would be a little bit more this than they are. And then we start taking that all on ourselves. And um, yeah, and so this is, this is one of the things I have to do for myself throughout the day is clear. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I'm allowed to be proud of my little achievements. Yeah. It's a big deal to, have, yeah. to recognize little achievements. True. True. It's so it's a human to not recognize the little achievements, isn't it? That's why about back in my house today. Yeah. Or, Hey, I rested today. Oh no, God, did you rest? Oh no, like that's what society seems to do, isn't it? Like, no, what do you mean you rested? That's not a good thing. Get up. It's like, ah, oh, stop. And that's my big issue is I don't let myself rest. So you know what I did is I purchased a lounge chair to oh. put outside underneath my tree so I could actually take a moment to go outside and lie down. That's awesome. Good for you. See, yeah, exactly. Guys, see, that's a perfect example of putting into practice what you know that you need help with and you've forced yourself now, but buying the chair makes it luscious, makes it inviting for you now. Right. Like in under your chair, I want to go there now. <laughs> I, had these ucky, I had these ucky old chairs outside, so I'd go and sit for a second. But my, I wanted to put my feet up and I still wasn't comfortable. I was like, oh, screw this. I'm going to buy this for myself and put it out. It's it's like takes so much for me to buy something for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, bless you. If you had asked me for a lounge chair, you would have already gotten it. I know, I know. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. And um, so just uh, talking about perimenopause, um, like I'm quite, I think I'm quite new into it, but I'm not sure because I was on drugs and I didn't have my period, so I'm not quite sure when it started. But I know I'm definitely in it now. 
but okay. is there any more surprises that come, <laughs> come along with that like this is this it like is this sort of roller coaster of emotions and loss of libido and and um the, the weight gain is that kind of where it sort of goes um does it get any it, it, does it get worse <laughs> it, doesn't get, it doesn't get worse you do notice little changes in your body <clears throat> my hair my hair think. yeah right my hair maybe my skin is drier um uh so you know i just have to do be give it a little more love than i used to you know i can't just like wash and go now i have to actually but it's and then that flips to well that's good okay so yeah. i have to, have to take a little more time to be with myself right can't just wash and go i actually have to give myself that little extra time and energy the, the other thing is as you go through it you know your chakras are going upward in your body okay so let's look at menopause from a chakra perspective so mm -hmm. you have your first chakra that connects you to the, your the earth and then your second chakra which is right around where your reproductive organs are right and that's your creativity right um so your first and second second chakras are all about um food clothing sexuality security security trust in the world your place in the world and your connection to the world right it's all about trust and that and then as you develop as a child so those first things are developing those first and second chakras are developing then you come up into your willpower your third chakra and how you get what you want and how you present yourself and then you come up into your higher emotional life here in your heart and then you come up into your expression, how you connect to the world, communicate to the world, your ideas of your thoughts and your feelings and and you, who you are in the world comes through your throat chakra. And then you come up to your extra perception. And most people make the mistake of wanting to put all their energy in their extra perception. But really, when you're younger, you need to put your energy in your first, second, and third chakras, in your fourth chakras to be a very grounded person to be grounded and to trust your place in the world and trust your feelings and trust your abilities and that's all first second third and fourth chakra when you get older the excitement is the energy is rising up in you from those basic needs wants and desires into your higher knowing and then your seventh chakra is your connection to spirit so you want to when you feel yourself uncomfortable go through your chakras colors and allow the energy to come up through your body up into your higher knowing your your sixth chakra here your wisdom your openness your perceptions of the world and your connection to spirit and really do that chakra meditation to allow let just you know the kundalini energy the snake winding through the body right allow yourself to really connect to that idea of bringing the energy up and through right okay. out through here through this chakra and through this chakra up to the heavens mm -hmm. um and that really helps there's a great meditation you can do this one's really great the standing tree meditation so go outside plant your feet in the dirt connect to the earth bring that first, second, third, fourth, fifth chakra up through the earth. Really feel yourself connected. Then move it up into your sixth chakra, you know, right? Up through your throat, up through your mind, and then up to spirit. And once you really feel all the energy coming up, up through spirit, then bring it back down again through spirit down your head down your body and connect spirit through your body down through into the earth mm -hmm. and then start running a channel once you can do it bring it up and bring it down bring it up and bring it down and this is you connecting heaven and earth and you start to feel that connection of heaven and earth connecting through you. So a beautiful, beautiful meditation. And it beautiful. will really make you feel that flow and that unstuck feeling. Mm -hmm.
it's I'm definitely in a location to be able to explore that. Definitely. I'm so, so, so lucky. So lucky. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the reasons when I was looking for a place to live, I really insisted on finding. I have to have a little outside area. I mean, I'm so spoiled. When I was in New York, though, I would make myself go to the um, the park. Had to stand outside somewhere. And when I was in Japan, I would make myself go to, oh, the fun thing about Japan is they have these little shrines everywhere. So I asked my husband, I'm like, oh, I found this little shrine over here, or this little shrine over there. Can I go and sit there? And he goes, yeah, sit and meditate. Sure. So I That's would so go cool. for a walk. And then I would sit in these, and they're beautiful little settings, right? You can just kind of feel that meditative energy. So beautiful. standing tree meditation will really help flowing with the chakra energy. In fact, Jemima, we should create a class of um, chakra meditations for menopause, you and I. Okay, let's do it. It's coming next, people. What's up next? That is. <laughs> um, Gus, would you mind pulling a card for us today, just in terms of... Our well-being, general well-being, you know, something to, well yeah, just just something to encourage us a little bit in terms of direction. And if, remember, folks, if something sort of more harsh is pulled, it's always good to have those because it's also a learning thing too. So never is like to say the fool or the death card was pulled. It's a really exciting card, by the way, a death card. So <laughs> it is a new beginning. So um, yeah, just yeah, just we like to end with the. My whole life is about sex. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Doesn't sound bad, actually. <laughs> Beautiful. So, give me yeah, a thank you. I'll, I'll stand that standing tree, that standing tree meditation, and the chakra meditation. Be, you know, I'll put that to practice because, yeah, it's just it's a horrible sort of feeling to be in right now, and I, I'm I'm really sad that I'm. It's affecting my my the people I love, you know, and it's just and that makes me sad. So. Because there's no reason for me to be there. I'm at a really beautiful time in my life, <laughs> you and know. It's so it's beautiful, and it's a beautiful time in your life. And you just, you know, you're practicing, Jemima. You're practicing. You've been practicing being in that place of a negative perspectives yeah. and struggling for a long time. Yeah. And you were someone who used to create chaos because that's what you were used to dealing with. Totally. So, you know, a lot of times you're you just go back to what you know. And yeah. so you're breaking that. And that's why I say, say clear, clear, clear. Yeah. I forgive mm -hmm. myself and say it daily as much as you need to. Clear, clear, yeah. clear, forgive myself. Every second. Let's walk around going clear. <laughs> clear. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. How are you doing? Like, clear, clear, clear. <laughs> 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 And jokes, that's not a joke, guys. It's kind of serious. <laughs> Seriously, what was happening? <laughs> anyway, it's good to laugh, though, isn't it? It's like good to always bring some laughter into it. You gotta, you gotta laugh at yourself because you know that's the truth of it. Yeah. Yes, we have, <laughs> we have yeah. to laugh at ourselves. If we take ourselves so seriously, which I always do, take myself so seriously. Yeah, me too. Me too. You're gonna go. Okay, you know, is the world ending right now? Well, yeah, we yes, sort of, kind of, but at the moment, it looks okay from here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, so give me a specific question for the cards. It could be something like, um, what's a reflection we want to carry with us today? Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. We'll take your question. question. As you feed the cards, yeah, the energy. Yep. Yeah. What's a reflection we want to carry with us today? That's what I would like to know about. So, um, I think this is such a great topic, Jemima about what, self forgiveness yeah 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 and i you know i watch it with people who um you know overeat a lot you know yeah. they they will go off their diet for a moment um and oh. um, they will go off their diet for a moment and then they will um be so hard on themselves and i'm like you know it's Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of those um, human nature things we are beat we tend to beat ourselves up way more than we praise ourselves i would like to look at it this way so let's say you're going to go for a hike maybe you want to go for an easy hike not a strenuous hike so you pick a small hill right and you're going to walk up that small hill and you know what you might stumble over a little rock or a little root and you just keep going, or maybe you get kind of hot for a second, you have to stop, take a deep breath, drink water, and then you keep going. 
So you stumble all the time. It's, yeah. it's, it's like, we can't just, you know, power through our lives and not ever stumble. We stumble and it's not, it's not the end of the world. We drink a little water. We take a moment, take extra deep breaths. Be clear, 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 clear. And then we choose to move forward, yeah. right? We choose to move. So we'll you can look at it this way, that way, this way, that way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as as that that you're stumbling a little bit on your hike and yeah. you've chosen a um a more strenuous hike <laughs> you <And> think <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a whole lot easier now i tell you that it's a whole lot easier now much more beautiful hike too more a gorgeous hike it's a beautiful hike right so every once in a while you'll see those waterfalls and the birds flying you know you'll be able to see the visions of a Disneyland cartoon, <laughs> right? The little little <laughs> on my shoulder. <laughs> two new kitties. All right. Yeah. So the card I pulled for us to reflect on is a full moon in Pisces. Oh, oh God! Oh, Pisces! By the way, guys. Oh my! You kidding me? That yeah, was just a full moon the other week. That's amazing. What's it say? It says. It says, yeah. it says balancing spirituality and practicality. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So okay. This is what we're reflecting on today. Once again, you cannot make this up, people. And it's so <laughs> fascinating. Amazing. It's amazing. I love it. So it's, I love that that uh, the cards speak to us so clearly. Right. They re it really are being listened to. We are being listened to. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Oh, by the way, I'm using what cards am I using? I'm using. Yasmin Boland's Moonology cards. They're beautiful cards. She is an astrologer, and these are her Moonology cards. So <clears throat> here's our thought for the day, or maybe even the week. With a, It's a full moon Pisces card balancing spiritual and practicality. Have you been so head in the clouds that you've lost touch with reality? If so, take this card as a sign that you need to pay attention and make a constant concerted effort to move towards your goals. The more practical steps you can take, the better. And in, and what's so funny about this is I wrote down cognitive distortions and small steps. <laughs> <It was already Again. laughs> our cognitive distortions are when you know we think, oh, we've totally screwed everything up. That's a cognitive distortion. It's just a small stumble on that little, on that hike that you're going on. And so take smaller steps. You're just walking a little, okay. <clears throat> Practical steps towards your goals. The more practical steps you can take, the better. It's time to find an inner balance between your responsibilities and your dreams. Meditate on your question and, and the solutions to your issue may come now through very clearly. If you're in a tricky situation because you've been acting like a martyr or you've been suffering, this card will be a message from the cosmos. It's okay to drop the act. It's okay to let that past personality go for everyone's sake. You can let that personality go. Attune with the moon, meditate every day and see what comes to you, answers will come. Additional meanings uh, for this card is you're in a super romantic, but not super realistic state. <laughs> follow, follow your intuition. It will never let you down. Um, the person you're, uh, oh, the people that you are near are soulmates. Avoid, sure. Avoid substance abuse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um also, this card, you know, full moons talk about the ending of something, right? And I really like you to start thinking about how you're ending a past personality. You're ending a past life way of dealing with the world. And you're yeah. entering such a new phase. Mm. Excuse the pun. Era, I like to say, era. <laughs> Not just a phase. Right? <laughs> But, you know, the nice thing about phases, again, it's small steps. True. So in order to reach your new era, you're starting with this phase. Mm -hmm. And so the, the full moon is you're releasing that old personality, that old way of dealing with things. Okay. Um, and then you may, it may resurface kicking and screaming, going, 
ah, we're supposed to have chaos and suffering right now. And you can say, mm, we don't need it. It's okay. It's time for you to go to the cozy corner, the big feeling <laughs> corner. <laughs> yeah. And release yourself, right? Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. So the full moon in Pisces symbol symbolically marks endings. When the moon is full in Pisces or whenever you pull this card, it's a time to dive deep into your emotions practicality is at odds with the numerous Piscean energies that have no borders. So you have to kind of feel your way right now. Psychic ability is heightened right now when the moon, full moon is Pisces and soulmates now connect. It's also a time to send out your dreams to the universe, releasing your fears. Let yeah. it go. And did you know today, actually today, even though it's Saturday and this is this is filmed on Saturday, but it is, it is the moon is in Pisces as well. No, no. <laughs> yeah. wow. I was just saying, no, another whammy. Okay, Barkowski, thank you so much. You're wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your feedback, your insight and your tools that I can take away and practice. And guys, same for you. Take as much as you want. Um, if you have any questions, queries, concerns, please let us know right down below. We're here for you. Have a wonderful weekend. Peace out. Oh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.